London Road, over 100 years old, home to Peterborough United for 80 of them. The stadium's undergoing a multi-million pound redevelopment. Years to get off the ground, work on the new stand now well underway. We're looking to build a two and a half thousand all-seater end here, then plus behind that there'll be an education centre. With Peterborough looking for an instant return to the championship, standing is not an option. Posh are leading the campaign to bring it back, as long as it's safe. It was a couple of years ago when I first introduced the safe standing uh, proposition to the championship where it was voted through. Um, and then last year that was substantiated at the uh, chairman's uh, football league meeting where we've commissioned effectively the board to go to the uh, Minister of Sport and ask what we can do about taking it forward and introducing a trial period in this country. Rail seating, uh, to give it its other name, can be put into grounds where people and the country and everybody who's interested in it can come and have a look, try it, touch it, feel it and then they'll, I think it will change their view from the perception that it's a bad thing. And it really isn't. It's a much safer thing. So how would safe standing work? Effectively, you'd have your own allocated space with a barrier in front and behind. We'd also have a retractable seat which can be locked or unlocked. And critically, there'd be no danger of overcrowding. So, rail seats provide a standing and seated option. The country's first are on trial at Bristol City. Installed last month, but football league rules mean they can't be used, only for rugby at Ashton Gate. Rail seats are also popular in Europe, especially in some of Germany's biggest grounds. Seats are up for league games, lowered for European ties. All-seater stadiums have been compulsory in the Premier League and Championship since the Hillsborough disaster 25 years ago. The trouble away to our left where there's a packed enclosure of Liverpool supporters. The crush claimed the lives of 96 Liverpool fans. It remains Britain's worst ever sporting tragedy. And at the moment it is simple mayhem. Now we feel as if this is like another battle and we feel as if, you know, why bring it up at this time when we have not had any accountability. If they do bring standing back, we had our warnings pre-1989. They had plenty of warnings about crushing people standing. They didn't listen to them. Unfortunately, it cost another 96 lives, and we were listened to, and it brought all seat to stadia. We respect what happened to the 96 and their families, and that will never go away. But I think in the longer term, we've learned that that wasn't about it was because they were standing, it was game management that caused the deaths of those supporters and we never want to go there again. We're not going back to all standing stadia in any way, shape or form. This will just be there for people who wish to stand at matches who are currently standing in seated areas. Rail seating will be safer for them and then people who stand in the lower divisions, League 1 and 2, rail seating will be safer for them as well. Championship grounds must be all-seater after a club's played in the second tier for three seasons. This includes Peterborough, who would have to close the London Road Terrace or install seats if they get back up. It's clear safe standing would work for Posh, but what do other fans think? As long as it's safe, gives people the option as well, hopefully cheaper tickets as well, so it makes it accessible for people. There's definitely a bigger camaraderie. There was a lot more singing and a lot more coming together with the fans when you were standing up and enjoying it. Being able to all bunch together on a cold day, <laughs> it definitely warms you up. If Santa came back to football, I'd love it. Six Fields today bears little resemblance to Northampton's county ground in the last century. Crowds now are 20-30% lower than they were in the 50s and there wasn't any problems. I miss the time of, at the county ground when we used to stand and really get behind the team. Since they brought Seaton in, I think it's been very, very boring. I think personally I would say to stay with seats, but it, it's so difficult. I mean, I've worked with the stewards here, and if you get a lot of people standing, there's not a great deal they can do about it. I understand around 70% of football league clubs voted in favour of safe standing in a recent survey. And did you know the first English professional club to go all-seater after Hillsborough? Ipswich Town. At Portman Road, like many grounds, some supporters refuse to sit. It is against the ground regulations, so it shouldn't happen. 
but we only have one area which is our lower north stand over there which persistently stand. So do you have to nowadays just turn a blind eye to it? I wouldn't say we turn a blind eye to it, we have to manage it. I say we have to keep the exits and the stairways clear which we do quite successfully. Um, we do warn people but to be quite honest how do you make a thousand people sit down? It's very very difficult. Clubs are encouraged to do their best to persuade fans to sit down before the authorities can take more robust actions such as reducing capacities. For existing grounds rather than new builds, rail seats are expensive. You can see the seats here, they're about £20 a seat. Now if you're going to take those out, even some of them out, it's £100 to put in a rail seat. And the weight of the rail seat is considerably more than the plastic seat. So grounds may have to do structural alterations to take the weight. It's not a simple thing. The practicalities involved are quite prohibitive. Well, yeah, I think they are. I mean, if you think about a few rows of seats here at the back, maybe take them out, put another lot in, that could be the cost of a player. There is no single simple solution. It remains a contentious issue, a divisive issue, an emotive issue.